from ten matchups that people have seen in the game. I, I would bet money on what that. Is? Like oh, Pac-Man Pac Olimar. Pac -Man, I'm really, <laughs> I don't know what to expect from this. Yeah. All I know is that uh, <laughs> I remember a coach saying they was going to bring out Alf and the boys for the uh, matchup against yeah 6 wx mm -hmm. He had won a tryout for there. And so it looks like he's been trying. He's been leaning more toward. Oh yeah, Coach Shia says he only likes bringing out these characters for like campy characters or projectiles. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, uh, off uh, camp game is among the strongest in the game. So if he's mm -hmm. against one of those characters, he can probably out camp them pretty well as Olimar. Um, so I mean, I've personally played a lot against this character. I know he works on it a pretty good amount. So and it's looking pretty good yep. right now, forty percent. He's just. Uh, especially against this Pac-Man, um, he's just like smashing these hydrants for free at a safe distance. Mm -hmm. So he's not letting himself be in a position where Uno can punish him for hitting the hydrant, and at the same time he's sending that hydrant right back at him. So it's like it's pretty safe for him right now. And Uno just messed up all of his Pikmin. Oh my goodness! What's up? It's like it must like it is nighttime, so yeah. <laughs> all the beasts are coming out to kill the Pikmin right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget who we're dealing with here. Yeah. All right. Throw out the fruit. Catches with some kind of water setup. Mm. Oh, and that that would um the hydrant was there, and I think that's what Uno was going for to have the water push him, but the mm -hmm. water actually expired like right before it got to him, and that yeah. would have been a really sick kill if he would have been able to connect that. Yep. Um, but now Coach Pond still has the lead, but Uno closes this gap right. very greatly. We're now at a point in the game where um, Coach Pond is just looking to expand that lead without trying to commit to anything. Oh, very but... nice run in shield from uh, Uno, gonna grab the lead finally. Yep. And now um. Nope. This, is what, this is what we're going to see a lot here in this matchup. We're going to see very lead-based. Whoever takes the lead is going to put be put in the position where they're going to have to be, where the other person won't have to approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to see a lot of waiting around. Oh! Oh! I'm, Almost. I'm not sure why he didn't just, like, turn around and, like, bear, even there, really. Mm -hmm. I guess he, he, he knows what he's doing more than I do because I've never played this character once. Oh, that stage spike, but Olimar's recovery, too yep. good. Going to make it back. I legitimately think Olimar is the best recovery in the game. I mean, he can attack out of it. He can come all the way from the bottom. Distance-wise, no yes, but in terms of, like, overall recovery, no, because, like, like you said, like, he doesn't have any hitboxes on the moves. Mm. So it's, like, you know, it's interceptable. Like, I'd say, like, Sheik maybe has, like, the best recovery no, in the game. Because Sheik cannot come from the bottom, like, seven times in a row. Vill people, will s people bring up Villager a lot when they talk about that, but even he can only do it, like, twice. So even if Sheik, uh, yeah, I guess. But, eh. Oh, that's the only thing we'll see with the water. The, yeah. uh... When he grabs them, because the grab is disjointed, we're going to end up seeing Alf uh, go all the way over across the stage. It looks funny every time. Ooh. Coach Punt, as soon as he got that stock, it was just a snowball. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we saw, like, he got the first stock around the two-minute mark in the game, so, like, four minutes. And that match was over by the time the, the next minute had passed. So once he got like I don't know I don't know what it was if maybe it was Uno kind of trying to overextend to um to get the stock back and to make it even again but Coach Pun did not let him get back into that game whatsoever yeah. and that was a quick second stock from Uno. Uno looks a little shooken up after that mm -hmm. thinking about character switch. Yeah, I, I could see that happening. Who do you I, think you pick? I um I could see the Nest coming out here. Um, given that he just did you know Pac Man. I'm not sure that Rob mm -hmm. would be a really great option for him right now, based like how, uh, how that was going, but that's making me eat my words, going right ahead and picking the <laughs> Rob. Uh, no, why do you think Rob is not that good, though? Just because, uh, like, I feel like um, the top would be really good at, like, interrupting Pikmin, but I um, I feel like he would have trouble um, kind of, like, jumping around and narrowing and stuff like now that. Now watch this right here. Oh, I'm waiting to get to see right there. But, yeah, the, the, now do the, yeah. the Pikmin actually just get killed by the top, though. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's why I was saying, like, the, the, the top is, like, good, but, um, as far as, like, all of his other attacks, I was, like, I would imagine that Olimar would win if it became a match of, like, who's hitting who. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll have to see. I mean, Uno certainly knows why he picked Rob here. I'm not gonna question his decision. Um, and it's um, this, pretty even right now after that up air. He Ooh. certainly picked a good stage for the character pick, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is one of Rob's best stages. Yeah. Because that top platform, you can just get people in scenarios where you're just down for a and it can be devastating if you pick the wrong thing. Ooh, that up throw. Good good DI from Coach Pun. Um, although it wasn't really going to kill him. That top, very great Ooh. placement from Uno. And now Coach Pun has to up B. And Uno oh. right there to take him out. Great positioning right there with the one Pikmin. He was, although he wasn't too slow, he was slowed down enough that it was mm. really easy for Uno to follow where he was Oh, going. he gave him a year and a half on that recovery. Yeah, exactly. Because just because it was a purple. Any mm -hmm. other Pikmin, it was probably a lot more 
you know, mm. tougher to do that. Yep. Yeah, Uno. Ooh. Seeing the up air. Yeah, that was really interesting. He, like, kind of delayed it, but, like, not he didn't, really. He didn't, he didn't commit to delay. Yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of like a reverse of what we saw in that last match. Now uh, Coach Pun is trying Yo, to come Coach in Coach could have spiked him right there. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he was a little too slow on the draw. He's not really w willing to commit because if, if uh, mm -hmm. Uno would have been able to avoid it, then it would have been another situation where I might get dared. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Coach taking out that stock. Yeah, slipping that back air in there. Really nice. Sliding right <laughs> uh, in you there. You saw that? He was trying to pick a Pikmin, but because he threw it off stage and Dreamland has such like huge bottoms, it took forever for it to die. <laughs> so he was just kind of trying to pick it for a while. Like, come uh, that's, on. That's, that's funny. Yeah. Um, but now. Shout out to those, high, to those very far low blast zones. Yeah, right. Um, ooh. Mm. What's that? Oh, that oh, was I a guess a blue. Blue getting even more damage. Yeah, on the now grab. this damage gap has almost completely been brought back by Coach Pun. That down smash, I think he was trying to jump or something right, right there. No Pikmin. Gonna give him the mobility he needs to avoid the edge guard opportunity from Uno. That up air gonna do it. All right. Absolutely. And that Dreamland was pretty clearly the good choice mm -hmm. um, for stages. Um, taking that, although Coach Pun was bringing it back uh, at the end, he was in control for the majority of that game. And that up air kill was so early, even though it was on an Olimar still. A really early percent to be losing mm -hmm. that stock. So, I wonder if Coach Pun is going to ride out the Olimar for what could be his last match, or if he might bring out um, the Ness. Honestly, I don't know. I know he's been resorting to Ness a lot in these matches. Mm. Well, I remember earlier, he was playing against, who was it, who was it, who was it, who was it? Um, he was, can you, can you remi help me remind me. Uh, it, he was, he played um, back Bowser Jr. in the first game, and it was Master Chef, and he ended up switching over to. Nets. Oh yeah, yeah, I did see that. I was I was actually commentating yep. for that. <laughs> um, so gonna go to FD, and what is this? This is uh, Coach Punt's counter pick. Uh, I'm not sure that I love it for him, uh, only because he like he um with dealing with Rob's laser. I guess he does have the down B, but especially dealing with the top and everything, I'd imagine that you'd want to have some more like options as mm -hmm. far as like landing goes. Maybe like uh, like at least one platform. I think he certainly did this. To, like, it, it, okay, he probably yeah, like, when it comes to the nest right here, he probably did this to avoid platforms because he doesn't want to be in that situation again where he gets up aired. Yeah. However, when it comes to nest, nest is a hard enough time landing already, yeah. and with laser with laser and gyro. Uh, it's gonna be even tougher. Yeah, and I, I would I, say Smash will be a great pick if that wasn't banned. Yeah, I, I'm sure Uno was probably aware of that and banned it. Um, but this is pretty close so far. Ooh, not gonna get the Gonzalez, but Uno not gonna get that up air. Um, didn't wait mm -hmm. that time. And I'm also not sure about this too because Uno plays Ness. Yeah. So he's got. He knows what this character can do. Oh. oh <laughs> I did not expect that. Ooh. And that. didn't have the um, the courage to go off and try to challenge that thunder. I mean, I don't blame him. You see too many people tragically lose stocks trying to edge guard Ness. Uh, that moment of hesitation can be the difference between death and success. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, success. 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 That up throw definitely going to be some success right there for Uno. Taking the first stock. And it looks like Coach Punt's counterpick not really working out against him too well. Well, uh, we'll still step to see, though. Yeah. Isaiah as a whole, though, he's getting juggled very yeah. hard. And that's one of Ness's, like, worst problems, just landing in general. Yeah. He does, like, he has, like, some quick aerials that he can throw out, but still, it's mm -hmm. like, um, like, especially when he's facing, like, in front of you, it's, like, it's easy to just yep. run up and shield, and then what's he gonna do? He, he falls so slow that it's not like he, he has, like, that kind of mind game yeah. to play with people, you know? Yep. He is very limited when it comes to resources and mind games and all that. Yeah. And just playing complicated in general. Yep. But it also, but what he has works, which makes him a good character. Down smash, gonna send Coach off stage. This could be his last. Oh, oh, oh! And uh, not quite, not quite. Yeah. He, he was definitely waiting for like a yo-yo the right there. Down smash in, yeah. Down throw. Not gonna get the up air. Too much rage. Not gonna um, let him connect that. And smartly running away. Did not want to let himself get back thrown right there. And I don't blame <laughs> him either. He's going all the way to the yeah. top. His people need him, man. He's gonna be out of gas, though. Gonna make it He's back. He's not play careful right there. Nest off stage is a very Great dangerous down thing for him. Alright. Alright. That could have been super the, dangerous right there. Yep. Gets him. I would have okay. went for the up throw there with that amount of rage, but um, there's a reason I don't play Rob. 
Oh, going for that. Oh, right. and down very smash smart down it. smash. He knew that he was going to try to come in and get that back throw. He knew he was fishing for it. Threw that down smash out as a protective barrier, and it worked out for him. Honestly, right I think there. Alpha and the boys, that's what he should have stuck with. Yeah, I he agree. He was playing really well with those characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, hey, Uno definitely earned that win 100%. Mm -hmm. Coach, Coach played his heart out, but looks like his counterpick just didn't work out for him that time.